right, so you're still with us. That's a good sign. That means that you've at least found these videos uh, interesting enough to continue to learn the skill that we want to teach. And our goal is to make your video even more interesting than this video. So welcome to Unit 1, Chapter 1. And in this one, we're going to give an overview of um, the process of creating um, an e-course. And then uh, in, in subsequent chapters of Unit 1, we will teach you the specifics of the things that we're going to discuss here briefly. So here briefly, let's discuss what constitutes an e-course. Number one, uh, a video lecture. It's critical, you have to have a video lecture because it's got audio and video for visual and auditory learners. They're going to be able to engage you utilizing two senses, which is much better than only utilizing one sense. Okay, so that'll be helpful to, we're gonna get you in the studio like this, and, and actually we're changing our studios, we're, we're moving to a new studio soon, so it may not look exactly like this, but it's gonna look something very similar to this. And then we can key out the background and put in a new, um, a new video or you know, a new background behind you, or ideally what we'll have is probably elements of your slideshow in the background behind you so that what you're talking about is displayed in writing behind you, so you've got audio, visual stimulation plus the ability to read the content next to you on the screen. So that'll be very engaging for your students if we can create a very high polished, uh, very nice animation, uh, you know, uh, motion graphics, animated uh, text and pictures and you talking to your audience. Uh, and so that would be the, element, the first element. Um, the second element would be um, creating the slideshow. And maybe I really kind of got those out of order. You're gonna create the slideshow first, right? The slideshow is basically the outline of your lecture. And we're gonna use that behind you as I stated, but we're also going to include that in the e-course so that after they watch your video, they can then refer back to the slides for specific information and they'll have that as a resource, okay? So that'll be the second, uh, the next chapter afterwards, we'll talk about how to create um, a slideshow using uh, Google Slideshow presentations. So that'll be a fun one. And then the next one is we're going to talk about how to create a lab or a practical exercise, right? And that's where, for example, you're going to challenge your students to go and do something physical with the knowledge that you've given them, okay? So to actually create some work product, some homework assignment, and it could be something as simple as go read this book and or read this chapter from this book and journal about it or write a paper about it. Um, so that would be kind of the traditional uh, academic model, which if you wanna do that, you can do that. Um, I recommend something, may, you know, if it's conducive to your subject matter to have them actually do a hands-on um, experiment. Okay, so they're going to, for example, when I teach digital forensics, I teach them how to take the evidence, how to hook it into a computer, how to analyze it, and how to produce a report. And that's a multi-stage process that takes many labs, but that just gives you an idea of what your content may be. Now, if yours isn't a technical skill, you're not necessarily trying to teach a technical skill, you're trying to teach maybe a self-improvement skill, like, for example, addiction recovery. Right, and so if you're teaching um, subject, other subject matter experts, uh, other people in your field for continuing education credits, maybe you'll teach them how you teach the addiction recovery process and provide labs or exercises that you give your clients. Give those exercises to your students to experiment with, to try on their own, and then report on. Uh, so that would be another example. Now maybe your audience is the addict or the loved ones of addicts who are going to recover based on the information that you're providing for them. And so the exercise might be something like contemplate what phase of the addiction cycle you're in and and, and describe the symptoms of that phase or that stage of the cycle. So, you know, you can, you can be creative with your content in terms of creating a lab or a physical exercise, a practical exercise, depending on what kind of subject matter expert you are, you're gonna wanna tailor your lab or your exercise to that. And then, finally, um, you're gonna get into uh, creating, a creating a quiz using Google Forms. Google Forms has a great quiz uh, uh, tool where you can create multiple choice quizzes just as a, a, a mode of metrics 
to see if your students are learning the content that you want them to learn. So we'll create a multiple choice quiz on a few key points from the chapter that you need them to learn and it'll help reinforce to your students what they needed to learn and it'll also give you an idea. It'll actually email you later and let you know how your students did based on your subject content, okay? So, uh, and then we have uh, some additional uh, media that we're experimenting with that's very, um, it's kind of cutting edge stuff. So example, for example, uh, if your subject matter uh, qualifies, uh, you might want to try to utilize something like a 360 photosphere environment, right? So almost a virtual reality experience where we can create videos with you uh, engaging in your area of expertise uh, in a th using a 360 camera so that your students can experience it in virtual reality with you. And the way that works is we would create a 360 video and then we would post it to the e-course and then they would have to use something at home like Google Cardboard or some other headset where they can then put their phone in it and be in, in an immersive environment uh, that we create with you. So those are some of the tools that we can use to create really engaging and compelling content for your students to learn. And <clears throat> this is the end of chapter one of unit one.